Here I am in my scene. I just um, deleted all those prototyping ramps. Now I've added a simple ramp myself. So you could see a clear problem, so let's just fix this. So making a transition from walking, from crouching, from running back to falling idle and remove this one. Inside the running to our falling idle, we make ground to false and has exit times. Off for all for the rest of the new transitions. The rest of the two new transitions we do the same. So we do near ground and false and as in the time is off. And also for the walking to fall idle. Now let's do some coding. Let me just delete this. Made by myself. Okay. Now we can continue from where we started, where we left in the previous video. We'll define a serialized field, private, and uh, this will be of type float because it's going to be a ground distance. Ground distance. Another serialized field. This will be private and of type layer mask. This will be our ground layer mask. And underneath the layer mask will define the private bool near ground. Then we can just close this region. Now inside the update, we will write near ground equals equals physics dot check sphere from our transform the position and in the radius which is ground distance. And this is going to be ground layer mask. And now we will just change it inside the handle anim function. So just delete this one and put near ground. Define. I'm just gonna define a private boolean. You can jump, but you don't need to do this because I will delete it anyway at the end. So you can just, you don't need to just copy this because it's anyway use this bool. I'm just setting it to true. But at the end of this video, I'll anyway delete it. So you don't need to write this. You also don't need to write this as well. I'm just writing it. Just skip the part where can jump is being used. yield return so don't write this okay so back in the editor select the player and change the slope limit to 30 because 45 is a lot then down here ground layer mask to be ground and ground distance to be 0.4 you can save our project by doing control s or command s i'm doing command s because i'm on a mac and save the project and hit play now if i move and i go up this ramp oh my i couldn't see it Let's see it again running running all the running up the ramp yeah so you can see the difference now as soon as i'm not having anything underneath i am falling directly before it would actually there's another problem fix too so if you're going down a ramp it will not go in that falling idle animation so now let's just delete this cube because we're installing pro builder delete this cube save the project it's time to us to go into the package manager and install ProBuild. So keep it in packages unity registry and so research for ProBuilder. 
and here it is so we can hit install it's currently installing it almost done and yeah so it's installed pro builder now you can search for pro grids so pro pro grids and because it's not inside unity registry you add it from the git url so add from git well, com .unity .pro grids and now it's adding it so there it is in preview um it's from git so that's why it's preview it's not yet fully released it's a preview package experimental package basically now we have them both uh, installed we can delete these cubes as well this is at least in the center already so environments folder game object now we can do tools progress window and drag this tools these selections to the side the right side and just keep this one on the left render it on the y-axis which is the which is the flat axis so the, the ground axis now we can do pro builder window and in our ground we can just delete this ground because we will make our own using pro builder you can say new shape and select plane now whenever i am actually using pro builder or pro grids i double select the scene to go in full screen mode to make it easier to edit now Height cuts to zero, plane settings, height cuts to zero, 100 on the X and 100 on the Z. Uh, it's currently not so good. So center on the pivot and right between the player's toes, shoes, whatever. Delete this plane because you didn't get the proper materials. We don't have them yet, so what I'm going to do is select Pro Builder inside in project packages in project select Pro Builder and import the universal render pipeline support underneath the samples tab save the project do Pro Builder window again and this time double click again new shape same settings it did not change so now just between the center just in the center of the world In the scene we have this plane object and because we imported this we have the universal render pipeline support we can drag this material on our plane object so it's all back normal now let's save the project again let's say shape is stairs change it to 10 10 and from count to height so that it generates automatically make it 2 for 2 by 2 and here's our stairs just nicely aligned with those nice square squares oh sorry I just clicked photos Unity, just drag this to that side. So, just drag the material on this object as well. You can see this is just a simple shader graph with Pro Builder attached on it. The albedo select did with it. Now we can select cube, put this at the one by one by one. 
and we can hit shift so select shift and start placing it here and there it'll change it on, on my toolbar is hiding so now if you drag it and you have pro grids on you can see how it's nicely snapping to perfect alignment so that's why we have pro grids it's one step ahead up then we select face mode and from this side we selected it and dragged it up twice then select this side dragging it out just a little bit Using just close pro grids, tools pro builder, just close pro builder as well. So close unity, sorry, save project commanders and control S. Now we have simple stairs that our character can go above. And you can see a simple problem, our character is already in the falling idol. That's because we never set any object to the ground, so select all these, drag them into the environment folder and then select them again, change them to ground now save project and if we hit play now it will all be all right so our character will stand in the idle animation first now we can climb up the stairs go down the stairs it's not going in the falling idle animation because going downstairs and here this is where it gets the falling idle animation which is just what we want and jump so the jumping is fixed we have installed pro builder yeah jump move about all right now let's just go back here and remove this code let's change this it's still i'm testing and i'm just gonna delete all this so you don't need to do anything Finally, I can now start deleting this because it was just for fun. Basically, testing, just testing things, see if I could do something else. Back in here, also, I have to um, I deleted this, right? jump oh, we have not deleted the can jump variable yet so let's do that so have I used the can jump anywhere else no I don't think so so let's delete this make it back to as it was let's delete this variable save that Set the set pool if input pressed. Have the I enumerator. Getting a warning. See what we can do by modifying the values 0.5. Maybe get a better result. Jump, 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 jump. One, one. One is very bad. Putting it back to point one. Let's see what point one is. Ah, that's very bad. So I think point four. So don't modify it. 
That was the best roll you've done now. Tractors enjoy jumping, so just keep the ground distance 0.4. And now we can save our project and that's it for this video. We're getting closer to where we are going to have the upper body with aiming and have a gun. But that's it for this video. We install Pro Builder and fix the jump. A few changes. That's it.